If you're the type of person who has trouble keeping track of your digital photos, don't worry. Flickr can help you stay organized. Flickr offers a large amount of storage space for your digital images and also offers tools to help you keep them organized. Before you can organize your photos on Flickr, you have to upload them first. If you have them on your computer's hard drive, log into Flickr and click the Upload hyperlink from your personal account page and browse through your computer's files to find the photos that you want to add to Flickr. You've uploaded several photos to your Flickr account, and now you're ready to organize them. Since our upload is now complete, we can add some information to our photos. Let's take the opportunity to do this now so we don't forget the details. With the photos uploaded, we can add titles, searchable tags, and descriptions to them. Adding this information now will help us search for and identify pictures later as our online collection grows. Let's start by giving the first picture a new title. Right now, it's called Wildflowers 2. We need to select the current title so that we can type over it. We can change the title to any name that we want, but we'll name this one Park Flowers, and then move down to the description text box. A description is usually longer than the title and contains more information. For example, you may want to describe where the photo was taken, when it happened, and who was with you at the time. Go ahead and click Next and we'll add a description to the photo for you. Now let's add some tags to this photo. These tags will help other users find the image in the search engine. To add the tags, we must first place our mouse pointer inside the tag text box under the photo. On Flickr, tags don't need to be separated by a comma, but you should join multi-word tags by surrounding them with quotes. For example, you would add San Diego in the tags text box to indicate the picture was taken in San Diego. Let's use three tags to describe this picture. Wildflowers, Yellowstone, and Nature. Now we need to finish adding our titles, descriptions, and tags to the rest of our photos. If you click Next, we'll do it for you. Since we're finished, we can click the Save button at the bottom of the page to keep our changes. There are many ways to organize your photos on Flickr using the Organizer tool. You can use Batch Organize, which lets you make the same changes to a group of photos at once. For example, if you have two photos that are oriented vertically and you want to flip them horizontally, you can change them both at the same time. You can also create sets which are various collections organized by a common feature or theme. Let's create a set now. Notice that we are in a new window. This is the Flickr Organizer tool. This tool helps you organize and arrange your photos in different ways. Your photo sets can be arranged by any subject, theme, or feature that you choose. Let's create a new set using the two animal pictures we just uploaded. Make sure that when you name your sets, you give them a descriptive title that will make identifying their contents later easy.
First, we'll need to select the text that is already in the title text box so that we can type over it. The organizer tool is easy to use because all you need to do is drag and drop your photos into the sets you've created. Then you can edit the photos and change the titles, tags, descriptions, and notes as necessary. Let's start by naming this set, and then we'll add the pictures. We'll call this one Animals. Next, we'll add the two animal pictures to the set. If you want, you can drag one photo to the box over the set title, and that photo will always be shown as the cover photo for the set. If you don't do this, the first photo you drag to your set will default as the cover photo. This is just another way that you can identify a set when you're searching for it. Let's add the dog picture first. We simply need to drag the photo of the dog into the set window. See how the photo of the dog was added as the cover photo for the set? Go ahead and drag the photo of the bison into the window to complete the set. See how easy it is to create a photo set? Flickr also allows you to place permissions on your photos to choose who has access to them. You can also add free licenses called Creative Commons to indicate to others the ways in which you allow them to use your photos. Let's skip that step for now and just save the set. When you save a set, Flickr permanently stores it in your account. We're done organizing the photos for now, so let's look at it in our photo stream view, which we can access with the link in the upper right. Once you have organized your photos in Flickr, you can browse through them or search using tags, dates, and set names you've added. As you can see, it's simple to organize your photos on Flickr so that you can find and view them with ease.